Also coming up in this hour of the programme, meet the music teacher who set up a choir in his local village that's proved so popular he now has over 200 women singing and performing in towns and villages across the county. We'll hear that story in a moment as well. <laughs> If you fancy a bit of a sing, I'm going to tell you about some choirs that uh, have sprung up across the county. I'm going to meet a music teacher. He set up a choir in his local village. It's proved so popular, it seems to have grown and grown and grown. We'll hear more after George Michael. <laughs> Uh, before all of that, though, fascinating story, this one. We're going to meet a music teacher who set up a choir in his local village. It's proved so popular, he now has over 200 women singing and performing in towns and villages across the county. Andrew Klingo is with me. Andrew, hello. Hello, good morning. This is an amazing story. So tell me, first of all, how this, this choir started up in the village. OK, um, well, I um, musically direct for the local amateur dramatics group. I've done that since I was about 14 years, more years than I uh, care to remember. And um, we do three shows a year one of them's a play a pantomime and a, and a musical show which we're rehearsing for at the moment and some of the people that come just like the drama some just enjoy the singing and a lot of the ladies that have, have been involved have been saying for you know a couple of years now well we want to do more singing more singing so i set up last july I, I booked the local village hall for six weeks um just an hour and a half a week on a friday evening to get people together and have a sing just ladies i wanted to keep it sort of have some sort of niche in there and and that just seems to have worked very well so we, we opened our doors uh, july the 8th uh, 2011 and uh, on the first evening we had about 55 people that have come uh, for that first session and for the first evening for the very first <laughs> evening yes it really was just, we, we sort of got 40 registered because we asked people to, to call in and register a place so we you know we knew roughly where we were at and if it was indeed worth doing but, um, um, remarkably uh, and obviously we had some people that turned up and there were about 55 and um, we, we got four weeks into the six-week block and I sort of asked if uh, if people would be interested in continuing on a permanent basis and it was a sort of resounding yes uh, and from that you know people were that had come to the Langtoft class uh, had said, well, I actually live in Bourne or I actually live in Peaceborough or whatever, do you think we could set up another one? Uh, so Langtoft became became Langtoft and Bourne and then we've added in Peterborough, uh, Stamford, Market Deeping and, and Spalding starts in June. It's uh, unbelievable. It, it, it just, grows and grows and grows. It <laughs> certainly does. Was the initial core when you set this up in Langtoft then, what, was it to people that you met from the productions you'd been involved Absolutely, in? Absolutely, yes. It, I mean, it, it all came about, uh, as I said, from, from the musical showing the people that I was working with, obviously some of those I'm in personal contact with. So I, it was a, a text message is how it all started. I sent out a fairly generic text message starting with something along the lines of, I've got an idea, dot, 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 um, and, and said a handful of harmonies, ladies choir, Friday evening, um, you know, a few pounds to cover printing and, and hall hire, what do you think? And I've got probably 15 or 20 people back saying, well, that's a really good idea, but I couldn't do Friday, I could do da, 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 and um, just sort of went with it, and it's just gone from there. Now, you, you, you are a, a music teacher yes, by profession. Yes, yes. So d do you teach, is it mainly singing that you teach? Yes, it is. And this has sort of now taken to the point that <laughs> I don't really have much time for anything else. It's it's three nights a week and we're, we're very focused on doing performances and um, it, it, as I say, it's gone so quickly. We've actually was uh, establishing a committee. Now we want a fundraising committee because we've an opportunity to go to London to a Majesty's Theatre uh, in October. And of course, a lot of the ladies that come out are, you know, as you've been talking about on the show earlier, pension and and what have you with with limited financial means so we're, we I've got a separate committee setting up a charitable trust alongside the 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 choirs so that we can support them in in getting out to to London and further afield I'm just thinking could you have this mega performance where you get all your choirs together for a massed choir funny you should say that oh, right. okay <laughs> we actually had got the the key theater well, some of the ladies won't even know this because it was just Ooh. in the planning stage so, exclusive, uh, exclusive. Yeah, yes. absolutely um, the um, we'd got the key theater book for a date in November, um, but we've actually since cancelled that. We, we, we've got the booking, as I say, for Her Majesty's on the 8th, and we don't want to... I'm very much a believer, and I'd rather do a little well rather than yes. sort of say, yes, we'll do that, yes, we'll do that, and, and sort of rush it. We learnt that over Christmas. We did so much um, that wasn't really prepared, you know, Christmas carols in pubs and shops and what have you, and the ladies loved it, but I'd prefer to sort of be a little bit more prepared, so... Did you have in mind the sort of singing that you were going to get the ladies to, to, to learn? Yes. I'd sort of, I think, because 
Um, oh, don't speak out of turn or have you, but you, some, some sort of people, you mention choirs and they get a sort of a stereotypical idea that it's quite high brow and you have to sing very high and it's all classical music. So I was very sort of set on not going down that route at all and keeping it very, very fun, very light. Uh, most of the stuff we do is musical theatre songs. Um, we've done all that jazz from Chicago, movies with movies, Mac and Mabel, um, stuff from Evita. Uh, we've done some Mamas and the Poppers. We, we're trying to keep it not quite so high brow. We, we did a bark piece in the very early days but it's it, it, it was lovely but it's not one that they request to go back and do and is it something that anybody could turn up for or, or yeah. do you expect somebody to have at least a bit of singing absolutely experience? not no the all of our advertising material and the website it all sort of says that um, there's no, no experience isn't required at all we just ask for people to come along and be willing to have a go to be enthusiastic and and you know possibly step out of their comfort zone. We don't ask anybody to audition. Uh, we won't ask people to sing solos. It's all about coming, having a good time, uh, and, and just getting the health benefits from singing in a choir and the, the social side of things. And um, it, it seems to work. I mean, some, some of the ladies come, and I'm sure that they, they get their folder in the back seat of the car, and they get it out, and they come and sing, and then it's there till the next week. And that's fine. You know, it, it works. Um, some uh, the ladies we've got singing in other choirs, church choirs, and, and attend all of the rehearsals that we do, and, you know, are really, really thriving on, on the fact that we've got so much going on. It's brilliant. Stay with us. Lots more to talk about. We'll Thank find you. out about your uh, musical background as well, and, and talk a bit more about the choirs that you're actually working with at the moment, and also talk about perhaps when we might be able to hear the choirs performing <laughs> themselves. Uh, we're chatting about this. this is an amazing story. Y you set up a, uh, a small choir in the village, and it grows and grows and grows. More details in just a moment. Before that, though, uh, we're chatting with music teacher Andrew Klingo. Uh, an incredible story. He decided to set up um, a, a, a ladies' choir uh, in the village of Langtoff near Bourne, but it's grown and grown and grown. And uh, there's a new group which will be starting up on the 2nd of June. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Uh, let's talk a bit about your musical background yourself. So, so was it singing? Was it playing an instrument? Where did it start for you? It started for me at uh, school. I had uh, keyboard lessons back in the... Well, <laughs> too many years ago to remember now and um yeah i had a weekly keyboard lesson at school and i had an old casio keyboard you know terrible terrible thing and um that sort of developed into uh, piano i uh, found that the keyboard was a bit too static with the left hand and all a bit plonky so uh, yeah I'd, I'd started on the piano and um the, the school i was at actually people commuted in so uh, the summer holidays very often we did, didn't see people for for a week or so so I'd, there'd be some days i'd sit and plonk away for sort of five six seven hours a day and right. Playing what sort of things? Um, I had a, it was a keyboard, a piano course called the Complete Piano Player, which uh, I still actually use for some of my lessons, and I'd just sit and plonk away, so it's things like uh, The Winner Takes It All by ABBA and Edelweiss, that sort of stuff. Sort of all, sort of, um, no nothing too classical. I've never been a fan of playing classical music. Enjoy listening to it very much, but in terms of playing and... But that's quite encouraging and satisfying. I, I was just saying to you that, that my uh, youngest son took up guitar last year, and you know, the fact, when he came back from his first music lesson, and he could play us he could play us tune uh, you know rather than just coming back and saying i can go up and down these scales he came back and he could play a tune from his very first lesson do you think that's quite key even now with your singing tuition that people come away from from the experience feeling i enjoyed that and i could sing that song yes absolutely um, as i was just saying to you myself we there's there's only been one song that i've we've had to we sort of haven't continued what was the song <laughs> it was uh, poison by alice cooper which i did is a, this in a, your a, list at your repertoire uh, it was one that i'd very much like to do but uh, the response uh, from from some quarters was was not as positive so i thought well there's no point it's not about me and what i want to do it's about the lady ladies coming and enjoying the session so it's still there on the back burner it, there's a, a sort of small group that are hoping to get together and do that maybe after a session one week but uh, it's uh, no enjoyment i think is just so key because that part of the choir and, and as i said before the health benefits benefits of it is that people come and for that hour women come rather and for that hour and a half they're not mums they're not wives they just come in and they sing and it's some quality time for them and they just can forget everything else i was going to ask you um with, without being too specific age ranges uh, are we looking right across the board right across the board yes the the um eldest that we've got is a lady in her 90s uh, who attends the born class and has been there since day one and i, I remember that it stuck right in my head but um 
at the very, very first session we did at the Red Hall in Bourne, this lady came to me at the end and she said, I loved that. She said, I've been looking for a choir or some singing for such a long time. Uh, she said, as long as you're here, I'll be here till the day I die, which I thought was a little bit morbid, <laughs> but, you know, how touching. And Fantastic. she's she's been there. I mean, she, she's she's um, been there through thick and thin. She's doing the performances and, and what have you. And then the other end of the scale is we um, we recently set up a uh, Harmini's um, choir as well, which was a children's choir from 7 to 15. And um, the, the uptake that we got was mostly sort of seven, eight, and nine-year-olds. Um, and But there was a couple of sort of older, sort of 13, 14. So we've actually put those into the into the adult group on a Friday. So we run the youngest we've got there is, is 15. I love the sound of that, the Har Minis. Har Minis. For, for, for the little ones. Yes. That's a great <laughs> idea, isn't it? What, what a brilliant idea. Um, and also for some people, they might feel that they've got this singing voice, but have never experienced it as part of a group. And yeah. that's very different, isn't it? Absolutely, it is. I mean, there, there are a lot of people that come um don't have the confidence to sing out and you know wouldn't want even to go and have a singing lesson one-to-one -one because they would just be too afraid but there's a certain certain wall if you like when you're, you're singing within a choir that you you can you, you can be shielded and supported and you know it's a team effort rather than just oh crikey i, I can be heard and as the tutor are yep. you listening to to what you feel that the choir can do will, will you adapt like if you're doing a choir in Bourne, it might be different to the one in market deeping Absolutely. Be because of the makeup of the choir yes um the the material that we do i mean uh, when when i started in july last year at langtoft i i had a sort of set programs of songs and because it worked and was so successful i thought well i'm going to replicate that but it, it is quite obvious that you know with with the different demographics of each of the groups for example born is a, is a slightly older um older group so i tailor make the, the pieces that we do there um and you know langtoft is a slightly uh, more vibrant um sort of slightly younger so we we do different pieces there as well we've done some stuff from wicked um with with both groups but of course very different song choices we've we've done one from um uh, i can't remember what it's called what is this feeling uh, we did at born which is a duet with the, the two witches and then at uh, langtoff we did define gravity which is you know much more challenging and now let me let me take the, the the one with the two witches there so yes. do, you, do you split the choir in in, a, in half or do you have soloists no what, we split them in do? two we, everything's done in in unison so Excellent. we have we've got the two witches uh, but we've uh, born we have about 20 singing each part and it's fabulous Great. we were doing that one actually just last night we haven't done it for a few weeks and just fantastic now you have a new a new choir that you're hoping to set up well we, it's going to happen isn't it it's going to happen yes come hello high water as they say we will be doing it yeah uh, it's actually the first of june i think oh, you said sorry? the second that's yep. all right that's not a problem first of june and this is in that's in spalding it's at the uh, ivo day center in spalding uh we've got three people that have recruited so far uh, i'm actually at the um, lincolnshire free press office on thursday i've got an interview there to sort of do a little plug as well and very kindly yourselves today so spalding first of june yeah uh, have you got times and things sorted out yes it'll be from 1 30 till three o'clock and uh, we we have a registration period from f well 15 minutes before each of the choirs so from quarter past one uh, we'll be there ready set up so that the ladies can come and have a chat get to know each other um it's sort of about giving that social time as well rather than just sort of right here we go let's get singing and one of the things that we we sort of took in feedback from from when we started last year was that um people like the fact that we start on time so by having that registration time you're giving them the, the chit chat but then you know 7 30 or quarter past uh, half past one whatever time the class starts you, you're straight into it and they know that's what to expect oh yes uh, they, they know you'll be starting dead <laughs> the, on time the drill you're begins punctual, are you? very absolutely, punctual absolutely absolutely handful of harmonies uh we'll leave all the contact details and uh, perhaps i'll put a link on our facebook page as well to your uh, your you. website as well i uh, wish you well with that and uh, well goodness no you could be across the whole county soon couldn't you who knows who knows growing and growing <laughs> really is. andrew lovely to see you thank you very much thank indeed. you very much for having us andrew uh, klingo who uh, started up a choir in his local village he's now got uh, choirs in in Bourne, Stamford, Market Deeping, uh, Peterborough, new one starting up in Spalding in June as well. It's just growing and growing because it seems that uh, you all want to sing, don't you?